Hey guys, I'm here in Costa Rica again, and I just wanted to give you guys an update and shoot out a free video for you guys with some information about cod building. <clears throat> I know it's been a while since I made a video, um, but I got some time here. I wanted to just share some more information with you. Last year I was here in Costa Rica um, experimenting with cob, earthen building, and natural building, and um, working on some building projects. <clears throat> I'm not actually here this year to do that, but I've been observing a lot of the um, structures here and how they build, and it's very different from um, back home, um, at least in the States. Well, I mean, most places, really. Here, the way they build is basically just like a... Um, I had to escape the water here, right on the beach. Um, the way they build here is pretty much very bare bones. The climate is very warm, usually in the 80s, 80-something uh, degrees Fahrenheit year-round. Um, there's a lot of rain, it's humid here. So they don't build with any insulation. Um, there's a lot of air venting. Um, a lot of the buildings are just open air. They're not sealed. So you get a lot of natural airflow. So actually what I wanted to talk about in this video is the complete opposite of the way they build here. And I wanna talk about um, how to insulate a cob building or an earthen building. Um, and now there's a lot of misconceptions about cob and insulation. People think that because the, the cob walls are so thick and dense that there's going to be a high insulation value, but there's actually not. When you think about cob, you need to kind of think about it not having any insulation value at all. So technically there's about an R3 insulation value for a, a foot thick wall of cob. So that's really very, very minimal and it's not going to make any significant difference. But this is not something that should deter you from building with cob, even if you're in a colder climate. Okay, for one example, if we look at conventional building, people always build concrete buildings, cinder block buildings. These buildings are not insulated. Okay, these are just concrete walls. And people are fine in these buildings in cold climates. Um, you just need a heat source. It's really not that complicated. So a lot of people get turned off about um, building cob and rammed earth and adobe in a temperate to colder climate because they just feel like they're going to be freezing cold all the time and it's not going to work for their climate. But this is really, I just don't think this is the case and it's not really looking at things um, with a broad perspective. Um, so one of the advantages though that concrete does not have is that cob has thermal mass. So thermal mass is the ability for the walls to store heat and then um, re-release that heat to the inside of the building naturally. So it naturally regulates the indoor air temperature of the building. So this is something that concrete does not have. Same with fired bricks. Fired bricks do not have this property. So this is a big advantage of cob. Um, you don't have the insulation, but you have the thermal mass. Okay? So um, if you really want to insulate a cob building, um, I think it would be difficult. Um, there's, a, there's ways to insulate rammed earth buildings. The rammed earth buildings are pounded earth. You pound earth into a form remove the forms and you have an earth wall okay so what they do with rammed earth and they do this a lot in cold climates especially in the Pacific Northwest is they kind of sandwich a um, an insulation layer in between two layers of rammed earth and then they tie the two layers together with rebar so it's it's essentially a, uh, a monolithic wall except there's a, a, um, a layer of insulation in the middle um, but yeah, this is a possibility for rammed earth. 
And you could technically do the same thing with a cob wall. It would just be um, more difficult to construct. So that's, that's almost one of my recommendations. If you're really in a very cold climate, but you want an earthen building, I would go rammed earth. Um, so that's one of the, the pros to rammed earth as opposed to cob. But if you're in a temperate climate, I think you're okay. So, yeah, I just wanted to bring up that subject today um, about insulation and thermal mass. And yeah, I'm gonna be out here in Costa Rica for um, about two more weeks. So I'll be giving you guys some more videos and some of my thoughts on cob building. Um, then I'll be returning to the States and continuing with the cob business. So um, yeah, leave your comments down below. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, like the video, dislike if you don't like it, it's okay. And um, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. And I'll talk to you guys later.